The world's largest human rights organization, Human Rights Watch, has stated that German Chancellor Angela Merkel should press Ukrainian Prime Minister Arsene Yatsenyuk to force the Ukrainian army to stop killing Donbas civilians. Merkel should emphasize the need for Ukraine's defense ministry to issue clear and specific orders to troops not to use certain explosive weapons in areas populated by civilians. Merkel should also press the Ukrainian authorities to conduct further investigation into allegations that Ukrainian forces were responsible for attacks in the east that failed to to distinguish between civilian and military objects causing civilian casualties, the statement says. Eastern Ukraine is nearing a humanitarian catastrophe as residents struggle to get food and medicine, writes group Amnesty International told Reuters. The UN refugee watchdog added that the elderly in the region could be severely hit by Kiev's policies. While it may be too early to call it a humanitarian catastrophe, it's clearly progressing in that direction, the deputy director of Europe and Central Asia at Amnesty International, Denis Kravashev, said. Moreover, Kravashev stressed that the aid sent to southeastern Ukraine from Russia and other countries, such as food and medicine, is often stifled by pro-Kiev forces that preventing it from reaching those in need with the goal of starving the population there. Former Czech President Václav Klaus said that the US, Poland and some Western countries want to split Russia after splitting up Ukraine. I do not understand why some people are so blind when they talk about the causes of the Ukrainian crisis. Neither do I understand the position of the United States, some of Western Europe and Poland who want, after splitting up Ukraine, which they have succeeded in doing, to split Russia and undo a decade's worth of development. This is a large and unforgivable risk, Klaus told Polish journalists as cited by the online newspaper Czeski Novini as Tuesday. The former Czech president has previously criticized the United States and the European Union for imposing economic sanctions on Russia. Facing tight budgets and shrinking military, the United States said on Thursday it was ending operation at an air base in Britain and handing it and 14 other sites in Europe. Several facilities in Germany would be closed, but overall US troop numbers there were expected to rise a few hundred. Some 500 US personnel would be withdrawn from Lazer's field in the Azores, reducing US troops number in Portugal. About 300 troops would be shifted from Germany to Italy. We remember, the United States has more than 60 64,000 troops stationed in Europe. So, US moves with 3 to 500 troops across the European bases is just a joke. As a result, US propagandists are trying to hide the process of concentration forces in Eastern Europe around Russian border under so-called tight budgets and shrinking military. We thank our information partners for help with spreading this video news. Subscribe to our channel to receive up-to-date information on the situation in Ukraine and current geopolitical events in Europe.